So far, we've looked at four tools of philosophy, which were metaphysics, epistemology, axiology, and logic. And we've looked at four basic theories of educational philosophies to uh, trying to teach students in our classes. And these were idealism, realism, pragmatism, and reconstructionism. Today, what we are going to try and do is to connect the tools with the theory and see how the tools help us understand these four theories better. So let's look at each tool for each of the theories. The first one we're going to look at is idealism and its parallel theory, which was perennialism. Both these theories talk about more or less the same thing. They want the idealistic approach to be incorporated in teaching. And according to metaphysics, the question really is, what is real and does it have meaning? In other words, the real stuff needs to be taught, not just anything that you pick up along the way, but tried and tested. The great books, for example, this would recommend that you teach the great books. It would recommend you teach the classics. It would recommend you teach the basics, because that is reality, that is real, and it does have meaning. The meaning of life is the search for unchanging truth found in the collective wisdom of the great books. Now, another thing that this tool emphasizes is truth, and truth does not change. It's never changing. And because truth does not change, the premise that you must teach the great books you must, must teach the classics is important. And that is what this tool helps us understand about this particular philosophy to education. So as the teacher, the job really is to see what of the real I can bring into my classroom and therefore what of the real can I actually teach today. So two teachers teaching the same subject to the same grade level may actually bring in different realities to teach. And that is why looking at a composite thing like a textbook to bring in more universality into what we teach is important. Because a textbook allows teachers at least to focus on the same real content, although the method or approach they use to teach could be different. And that is the key to different teaching methods and having different teachers teach differently in our classrooms. Epistemology then would look at this from knowledge and knowing. Knowledge means knowing. You need to know. But what is the truth? What is there to know? From all the real stuff that exists, what is the truth that we want to bring to our classrooms? What is the truth that we want to transfer to our students. And as teachers, this is a question that we have to answer ourselves independently. You cannot be discussing this in a group because what is real and what is true is different for different individuals. So truth and knowledge are both changeless. That's what the tool says. Revealed through guided reflection and in literature of the classics. So this tool also believes that the truth will come from the great books and the classic literature of old times because these books and literature have stood the test of time. They have survived over decades and in some cases even over centuries. They are still valued and therefore that is what we should really be trying to give our students even today. So bringing stuff from the past without making any connection to the present, simply because it is real, it is true, and it has stood the test of time, is what these two tools of philosophy would help us understand about idealism and realism. 